Would love some berries. That'd be fantastic. How do we charge her when she's in our care? Do we say what we're after? Or do we dance around the idea? From what I've learned about Fulke, she's not shy about sharing her esoterica. If we ask her one question, she'll answer ten. Good. But we mustn't seem eager. She could use it against us. Hello, lads. Lovely day. And here's Eivor. Ah, uh, you timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Alvanes Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. You've explained now fucking nothing, dickwad! You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Eatman into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. You can steal all the silver and gold you want. But if there are no more farmers in the field to hire, it's useless metal. Men from all across Mercia will heed the call to fight a woman pledged to Wessex. Aver, there was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew. I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. You're trusting me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. Saint Albanese will not disappoint. It is famous for its treasures. We'll see about that. That's such shitty fucking reasoning from him. Oh, you used to follow me, you know, without question. It's like, yeah, because you used to be leading him into, you know, proper battles that are well thought out and not going, let's go see the mage. Let's go do some magic. Oh, I wonder why he's not with me this time. Oh, we know this woman. What could it be? She appears to be an adventurer of sorts. The Thane called her a heretic. All the better for us. She's clearly someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother. Why don't you follow me blindly anymore? Let's cast a spell! Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. Should have gone with Ramvi after all. <laughs> I definitely would not be feeling bad about my decision now. If I'd have just been like, yeah, you know what, Ramvi? Let's go. Right here, right now. If they see me, this will get messy. No, we're not actually hidden here, are we? <laughs> this doesn't count as hiding. Um, should we just call our bros? Bro! <laughs> Let's go. We raise. You're one too, brother.
Who's next? Who wants some? Are you alive? No. <laughs> oh, no, you still are somehow. Impressive. Impressive, my dude. Okay, how do we get in here? Is this locked or is this... No, it's barred. It's not a window we can shoot through. Wow! This is, uh, this is impressive stuff from Basim here. Well done, mate. You're doing God's work. Where is this one? There would be a crypt or dungeon near the central church. Okay, but more importantly, lads, how do we get in this house? That's the real question right now. Ah. in here? Guess not. Guess not. Really? Oh, I'm supposed to put it, push it forward? Let's see. Obviously that's not what I want. Oh my fucking god. There we go. Ooh, you're testing me today. You are testing me today, game. My patience is already low in general. And then there's been so many fucking weird little buggy things today. You have fun up there, lad. You must be. Because it's where you chose to die. How do we get in this building? How do we get in this building? The game. Brought to you by Ubisoft. Everywhere you go, you will be faced with one question. How do you get in this building? No fucking clue in this case. There is not a door. This building does not have a door. How, How do you make a building with no door? It's just like... Never mind, it's 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 there. Sure. I bet that's everyone's favourite way to get in and out of this building. Oh god, it's fucking twat McGee. Hello, I'm Dag. I wanna go see the scary lady as well. Yes, Sigurd. No, Sigurd. Whatever you say, Sigurd. Let's go do some magic! Come, help me with this. Good plunder here! Jubbly. This is all of a sudden becoming a new trend. The old just bash down the little bit of wood <laughs> covering the wall. Give me a hand 
over here. Materials for days. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, that's barred. as well. Okay. Could they have moved her? Hi. Stop fucking throwing your axes at civilians, Avon. Standard bearers are rubbish. They just carry behind a shield but never actually attack, it seems like. Very rarely. Everyone get in. Fuck. Don't have a thing now. Uh, Reverend Father, we the farmers of the fields surrounding St. Albanus Abbey ask that pil pilgrims from London no longer be welcomed. We all pray to St. Alban as the first mercy and martyr, but these Londoners, they know no bounds, consuming barrels of mead and relieving themselves in our fields. It is no pleasure to gather crops, I assure you. In the memory of our honoured saint, please send these people away, your parishioners. Got any explodey barrels for me, because uh, I may have used all of my <laughs> adrenaline. If not, I can just get some more adrenaline. Oh no, here we go. Wait, wrong way. Huh? Apparently we've almost cleaned Oxford out for wealth already. That was quick. Through here, had long last. Like holy Judas, I thank you, beloved Jesus, for the wisdom to pierce a fierce plant. Holy to Judas. And above the lies of Yaldabaoth. To know the first mystery that is the last mystery that is the 24th mystery. Amen. Yeah. I wonder why we thought maybe that we shouldn't just follow you blindly anymore, Sigurd. What could possibly Who be the reason? Who this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic. Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Consider your position. Friar, our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your guard so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this.
The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Oh, the Lord Here, bids friend, you to speak through ventri key, ventriloquism as well, does he? Depart with your strange friend. Oh boy, here we go. Hello. Be Lord of the Treasury of Light for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sackless? Yep, that's me. Or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm. A humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. Oh God. And you are Just a collector me of now. artifacts. The instruments of the children of Sackless the Fool. Yes, I am. <laughs> I have many such curious... Sackless the Fool? And you possess an object. A polished stone with unusual markings. Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. Can I just kill her now? I would really like to just kill her now. Give up, you shit. Why are we murdering the friar? Why why are we murdering the friar though? Did we not just agree to let the friar go? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so called heresies. Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth. One of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory. About defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It would give me dominion over this land. Fuck me. Descended of the gods. Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. We're here for an alliance. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. <laughs> we only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee. Oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god led me here, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eber. They spoke through me. Brother. Yep, I can see us betraying a betraying Sigurd real you soon. You fascinate me more with each passing moment. You fascinate the me less. The stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? Yes. The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. Man, I can't believe. I can't believe Sigurd is this dumb. What the fuck is... What are you doing? Oh, this is just depressing. I was like, there's what no way I'm betraying my boy. Captivates you, Fulke. The Saga Stone comes from an ancient And then he's just gone completely off his rocker. A generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you? For preaching such an idea. 
Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus, or the elder path, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Saclus and his kind were wise in their time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. Silton Hills. Quite near to a teleport point. Should we grab that? As we're heading past, might be a good idea. Unless we're actually going there anyway, maybe. Evingo Tower. This is the place. Ah! At the end. Good. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his... Come with Avon. As I was telling you... He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. It's gonna be some kind of Isu artifact or something, right? I'm guessing. Brother Paul, are you here? And Sigurd's gonna be like, oh my god! This Basin, proves I'm fucking divine! This was Edwin's doing. I have no doubt. Oh, is have people been killed? I asked Paul to hide it well. Sounds like people have been killed. Synchronize! Push it forward. I guess that's a exit only kind of situation. A window I can get through? Yes. Notice of excommunication. Be it known, he of the name Paul, consecrated priest of Oxford, is henceforth abjured and severed from his church and fellows for the spreading of pernicious heresies and blasphemies. May he be denied forgiveness unto the final days. Sure! Sure! Yes! Great! How many times did I hit that box? Like three times and it didn't break and then suddenly it did? Is this him, your acolyte Paul? My dearest friend. May you live as one with the true God in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You 
Always questioning, second guessing my wishes. You slowed us down, oh, fuck and I off. missed my chance. Basim fills your head with twisted prophecies. He leads you like a chained dog. Basim has shown me so much. He knows my mind. He. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. Oh boy. How dare you, Danes, befoul my lands? Hold our favor, and first we talk. Lady Edwin! The stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade that stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Catred a word. Oh my god. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Avon! <laughs> no! Cut them down! Leave them Good alive. shit, Avor. Good fucking shit. Avon, fucking Sigurd. You, you clearly are. Edwin, please. We had our chance. We will speak of this, Avon. You can fucking forget. speak to the back of my hand. What a fucking prank. I can't believe that this is where Sigurd is ending up at. He didn't, like, he was a bit of a knob at times, but he never seemed, like, fucking insane. glad that Eivor actually did something about it though. I was about to be fucking angry, man. If that ended up with Sigurd just, you know, throwing our dude under the bus and being like, yeah, sure, we'll murder the dude that we promised to help. For the fucking, for a random fucking stone, whatever Isu thing it's probably going to be. I was about to be real mad. And Eivor, thank fucking Christ, has some brains on him. Basim, you can get fucked. You can get fucked and all. No help from me. Previously, my attacks were just going straight through this guy, and now they're not. I don't understand what's changed. Sure. Yeah. 
I guess he's the one that would be useful for, to get that skill where you throw stuff back. I've got this. Watch each other's backs. Take your last breath. Don't mind me. Just gonna chow down in the middle of battle. I'll keep the rat busy. This one. Ah. You're mine. Die now. Yeah, come on, bitch. Come on. Come on. Okay, fine. Fucking idiots everywhere, man. Aver, you muck minded fool. That you dick brain moron. Without letting of blood. We have a pact with Giedrich. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. Ooh. Oh. Oh, good God. It's so tempting. It's so tempting. Obviously, it's a bad idea, but it's so tempting. See, the thing is, because it was prophesied at the start of the game that we would betray our brother. That means that no matter what I do here, our relationship is going to continue to go downhill and downhill and downhill until we have some huge falling out. And like that that's going to happen no matter what, I'm pretty sure. I mean, this is already a huge falling out, but you know what I mean. Like, I'm pretty sure even if I try and take the road of, you know, the high road, the not punch him in the face road, I'm pretty sure the outcome is the same. It's not like a branching path game, particularly. It's just going to be... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's one new, Basim. I believe there will be other chances. We can keep our oaths and find the stone together. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Bullshit. Gidrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. <laughs> Oh, I've got to watch these other... I've got to watch the punch options, man. Because, oh, fucking boy, does he deserve one. But I'm going to keep with my initial decision and not take that route. Because I... I don't... Like, his fucking idiot, idiotic choices and the fucking bad path he's clearly leading us down are can be on his head. And I don't want to give him any reason to go, you were escalating or whatever. Sit here and bemoan your fate, brother. I have a promise to keep, and I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. Come, Basim. Motherfucker, Odin literally comes and chats to me as I murder dickheads. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind, and he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? 
to wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? Are you serious? Gidrich asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eaton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Why would we team up with her though? Sigurd, brother, you're lost in a sea storm of your own making. Is it just me? Defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. Is it just me or is that ridiculous? Right? Pretty sure that's ridiculous. Like he's been counseling against Sigurd going to this mad woman saying no the entire time. She's like egging on Sigurd with the shit that Bazim is filling his head with saying he's going to be a god and stuff. And then after that massive argument caused by Basim and this woman, it's now, oh, please help me though. I don't know about that one, chief. Seems like you should just cut her head off right now. Whatever. Story-wise, this has been great. I've really, 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 really enjoyed it. <laughs> I love, it's, it's painful to see like these brothers like coming to clash because they are believable characters and I like them. And I, it, it, uh, it does feel well, uh, well thought out. But uh, fuck me, there's been some bugs in this last couple of vids though. Very aggravating stuff. But uh, at least the story just kicked into high gear uh, to make up for it, I guess. Anyway, that is where we'll leave off for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time when we get the treasure and the mask from over there. And uh, then... I guess we're doing the chipping away bit because he's saying there's more I could do before I speak to Fulker. So I guess we're going to do random goings around and trying to help people kind of thing. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.